House Resolution 298. The gentleman from Tennessee, Mr. Ogles, and a member opposed each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Tennessee. Mr. Speaker, I give myself as much time as I may consume. Thank you. I'm grateful that the House of Representatives is taking a stand to protect women and girls in this country and to ensure that they continue to have access to athletic opportunities at school. I strongly support the Protecting Women and Girls in Sporting Act. My amendment strengthens the underlying bill by protecting schools from a weaponized bureaucracy and frivolous lawsuits as they work to, to comply with the intentions of the bill. Many schools provide a wide range of programs and activities to support their student athletes. This amendment ensures that schools can continue to provide a range of resources exclusively or preferentially to members of an athletic team without worrying about activist bureaucrats or opportunistic trial lawyers targeting, targeting them with disingenuous arguments about what constitutes an athletic program or activity. Mr. Speaker, I reserve. Does the gentleman reserves. For what purpose does the gentleman from California rise? Uh, I claim time in opposition to the amendment. Mr. Gentleman Chairman. is recognized for five minutes. Mr. Chairman, uh, again, the assertion that the underlying bill is about protecting women and girls couldn't be farther from the truth. Uh, we know uh, that uh, in states that have inclusive policies towards trans girls and women in sports, that the overall participation of girls and women uh, is greater. And the, those states that have enacted uh, bans on transgender participation uh, have seen a decrease in overall participation. And why might that be? Well, we know that in Utah that some parents uh, of cisgender girls who have seen their girls uh, lose in competition uh, have questioned uh, whether or not the winner uh, is actually a girl because of uh, the nonconformance to uh, 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 perceived notions of femininity. Uh, and they have actually, uh, authorities in that state have actually uh, subjected the winner, uh, the girl who was a winner, to a uh, examination of documents dating back to her kindergarten days uh, in order for her to prove that she uh, was indeed a female. Think about the chilling effect that this is going to have, that this has had on other women and girls from participating in sports. Uh, teenage years are a difficult time enough, but think about what this, uh, that, that this ban has uh, imposed. Uh, and let me tell you, the Republicans are not satisfied with just banning transgender girls from competition in athletics. What this amendment will do is to accomplish full exclusion of transgender people, not only from athletic programs, but from any other auxiliary programming that a student would want to participate with their teams. Not only are they interested in ensuring that transgender girls uh, uh, and women can't enjoy the benefits of, of the athletic aspects of team sports, they want to make sure that trans students who, statistically speaking, already face intense marginalization in school environments are deprived of the opportunity to make friends, to be included, and just have fun. No wonder, no wonder that they, uh, that more than half of transgender kids have thought about suicide or have attempted it. This amendment is the uh, is the example that represents the whole. The nature of this amendment is that what is at the heart of, is that is, is what is at the heart of this bill. It is not about competition. It's about participation. And I wish that they would stop using examples of Ill, uh, difficulties we have in elite competition to use it as a justification to harm transgender kids all across this nation and exclude them not only from sports but also exclude them from sports banquets or special study halls that may be associated with, with athletes. This is an insidious amendment. It's an insidious bill. Uh, it is, it is uh, contrary to our values as Americans. Uh, and I reserve. The gentleman reserves. The gentleman from Tennessee is recognized. You know, no woman or girl in our country should be forced to lose competitions to biological men. 
and no school in our country should be punished for fighting to preserve the integrity of women's sports. We cannot pass up an opportunity to protect schools from adverse actions, accusing them of discrimination when they provide a tutor to a team, or they let athletes move into a dorm early, or accommodate a practice schedule. We know Democrats will work to pursue every loop, loophole imaginable to undermine this bill, and we should take this opportunity to stop them before they can start. I urge adoption of my amendment. I reserve. The gentleman reserves. The gentlewoman, or the gentleman from uh, California is recognized. Mr. Chairman, I would just say that let's allow, uh, at the very elite level, organizations like the uh, International Olympic Committee and the NCAA uh, make the kinds of determinations about what constitutes fairness and not impose the federal government where it's not necessary. Transgender athletes have been welcomed into participation for 20 years now. Uh, and only recently has, has it become uh, a, a major issue in our country. Uh, I say to my Republican friends, where has your concern about government overreach gone? Where has your concern about allowing uh, uh, states uh, and voluntary associations uh, to solve problems before the federal government is brought in to bear? Uh, and so, and certainly, we should not be using uh, a small, one or two examples at the elite sports level to affect the participation of transgender girls uh, and women all across our country, um, you know, in high schools and colleges. Uh, and I reserve. The gentleman from California reserves. The gentleman from Tennessee is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I just reiterate that no woman or girl should be forced to lose competitions to biological men. And I say that as a father of a daughter who's an athlete. I say that as a father to two sons who are athletes. Girls should play girl sports and boys should play boy, sport, boy sports, I reserve. The gentleman reserves, the gentleman from California is recognized. Uh, I'm prepared to close. Gentleman reserves, I yield. Gentleman yields. Gentleman is recognized. Well, I would say, uh, Mr. Chairman, that uh, that we uh, that organizations like the NCAA and the International Olympic Committee, we can resolve these issues about fairness and competition. But we should not neglect the greater value of participation, connecting to others in society, uh, and welcoming. Uh, everybody uh, into uh, the community. Uh, and this bill uh, and this amendment uh, do not do that, and they put our transgender kids in harm. I, I, I yield back. The question is on the amendment offered by the gentleman from Tennessee. All those in favor, say aye. aye. All those opposed, say no. no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. The amendment is agreed to.